सो गाइज आर नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्वेक्स एंड अ नॉन कॉन्वेक्स लॉस फंक्शन एंड वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी हैव अ नॉन कॉन्वेक्स फंक्शन सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड टू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स दैट यू यूज इन मशीन लर्निंग ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू इज इन ऑर्डर टू एंसर दिस क्वेश्चन विल डिस्कस मल्टीपल पॉइंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट विल डिस्कस इज वॉट इज अ लॉस फंक्शन देन विल सी लाइक वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्वेक्स एंड नॉन कॉन्वेक्स then we'll see the properties of both and finally we'll see some examples of both kinds okay so let's uh, start our discussion with what is a loss function so in machine learning a loss function is basically uh, a measure of how far an estimated value is from its true value okay let me explain so the whole idea of a machine learning model is to do predictions right but these predictions may or may not be equal to the true value right so the difference between these two is basically represented by the loss function so in a way loss function is a value which gives us this understanding that how well our machine learning model is performing okay so it is a mathematical function of this form where y represents the loss or the error in prediction and x represents the parameters of our algorithm okay so basically if x changes as in if you change the parameter values of the algorithm the loss or the error changes the error can reduce or it can increase our idea is to minimize this value we want to minimize this error because if we minimize this error then the prediction will be closer to the true value and that is what we want right so in a way loss function acts as a north star a guiding force in machine learning it helps you reach the right model okay now this model could be uh, sorry this loss function could be a function of single variable or it could be a function of two or three or more variables also depending on how many parameters are there in your uh, machine learning algorithm okay like in the case of linear regression you have m and b slope and intercept so now the loss function will be a function of two variables slope and intercept okay so now we have an uh, idea of what is a loss function now let's discuss what is convex and non convex functions since loss function is nothing but a mathematical function uh it should have a graph right like i have drawn some graphs over here this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one now let's discuss what is a convex function in mathematics so if you go to the wikipedia page of convex function you would see over here it's written in mathematics a real valued function is called convex if the line segment between any two points on the graph of the function does not lie below the graph between the two points this is the definition of a convex mathematical function let me show you so what we do is in order to find out whether a mathematical function is convex or non convex you select two points on the graph of the function like we have selected these two points now you connect these two points with the help of a line and now you check whether any part of your graph between these two points is above this line or not so you can clearly see in this case between these two points the graph of this function does not lie 
अब द लाइन सेगमेंट इट मीन्स इट इज अ कॉन्वेक्स फंक्शन वेर एज लेट से वी हैव दिस एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ड्रॉ टू पॉइंट एंड लेट्स ज्वाइन दैम विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए लाइन सेगमेंट नाउ दिस इज अ नॉन कॉन्वेक्स फंक्शन वाई बिकॉज इन दिस पैन द ग्राफ टू टाइम्स इज अब द लाइन सेगमेंट एंड दिस is not the definition of convex function so this is a non convex function so the green curve should never lie above the white line that is the core idea okay similarly if you talk about this function again it is a non convex function because in the range in this in this uh span the green curve is above the white line and that makes this a non convex function so that is how you identify a convex or a non convex function now comes this important question what happens when we have a non convex function see the whole idea of uh, understanding or rather having a loss function is to find a value of x or rather we should say to find a value for your parameters for which the error is minimum so in a way what we do is once we have the graph of our loss function we try to find out the minimum and the minimum represents a value of x for which the loss or the error is minimum so the whole idea of this entire thing is to find out the minima of this curve okay but if we have a non convex loss function then there is a problem what is that problem let me show you so over here you can read out convex function plays an important role in many areas of mathematics they are specially important in the study of optimization problems where they are distinguished by a number of convenient properties for instance a strictly convex function on an open set has no more than one minimum so that is the property that we are talking about so if you have a strictly convex function it means that it will have only one minima whereas if you talk about a non convex function it can have more than one minima so you can see over here this is the local minima and this is the global minima so ideally your optimization algorithm uh, let's say you are using gradient descent your optimization algorithm would like to find out this global minima but sometimes it is stuck in this local minima and you are not able to find out the best answer or the best value for your parameters for which the error will be minimum okay so the worst case scenario in the case of non convex function is that you are stuck in a local minima and you do not converge to the global minima and you don't get the most optimized solution and that is the worst part okay so we have discussed what is a loss function what is the difference between convex and non convex functions we have seen some properties now let's discuss some examples i'll show you some examples uh, of both uh, convex function and non convex function so over here i have two loss function examples so this is an example of linear regression in two variables okay and you can see this function is a strictly convex function wherever you draw a line in this case you would draw a plane wherever you draw a plane the graph of this function will always lie below the plane okay and there is only one local minima whereas this is an example of a neural network if i am correct a complex neural network and you can see over here there are multiple minimas there are multiple minimas okay uh, and one being the global minima and all of others our local minima so what happens is sometimes your solution is stuck in a local minima giving you sub optimized solution which is not desirable 
So I hope you get your answer.